Good evening, everyone. Mark Fuller here, Team Alliance. This is volume number six that we're working on now. Volume number six, building the framework for ATM trades on Nadex, at the money trading on Nadex. So we're just picking up where we left off at. Great content is on the way. You see, you can hear my alerts going off in the background. Because I'm always waiting and working. And let's go. Alright, this is volume seven, I believe. I don't even know. But we're gonna um <clears throat> see if we can hold on to this one for full profit. 40 seconds left. Looking for prices to stay above this line. I want you guys to notice something too about the activity in the market. If you look at the behavior of the market, <laughs> just in general, you see that there's a lot of volatility here, like a lot. As a matter of fact, like my students right now are commenting on the behavior in the market and how, how crazy it is right now. So to be able to build framework for you know, an approach to use, and that's a winner. That is a winner. Price stay right above this line. As you can see, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let me see. Let me zoom into this chart. Just want to mark this area. Put one of my lines down here. So we want the price to stay above this line right here where you see the purple line now. Now, I just want to talk about the market right now. And let me see if I can box in the area. No, nope, not that one, this one. Let me just box in this area. Okay, in general and then zoom back out a little bit. If you look at this, all of this shit right here look crazy. Like, <laughs> it's like, why the hell would you want to even trade at all with the market doing this type of activity? It's swinging. It's erratic. It's moving back and forth. It's, you know, um, having reactions. And that's the key word, reactions. When you're building a way to do something around what the market is doing, you have to make sense out of what the, what the market is doing at the time. Okay? This is a good volume right here because this is actually giving you insight into my understanding of the market. Understand something about the market. What looks chaotic in this area right here like when i entered this trade i believe i entered on i think it was this candle right here the little candle right there that you see little green one with the wick on the top and the wick on the bottom right there where the mouse is right there where the hand is right now i entered on that candle and it's like well mark how did you know that it was moving up it's not as much that i know it's moving up I understand what the behavior of the market currently is in the environment that we're in. Right now, we're in an erratic, um, fast-moving environment. That's what it is. If you understand the environment that you're in, you can build around it based on what the market is having a reaction to. Understand that it's always market. Like, did you see that just now? Did you see it was up here and it just said, it just said bloop, for no reason. For no reason at all. You can't explain why the market just did that drop. The drop is the after effect of the behavior. Let me let me say that again. That drop that you just saw is like the aftershock of the behavior right now in the market. Now, if you look at what it's doing now, there's an opportunity there. You see that? There's an opportunity here. And I'm not even going to talk about what it is because, you see, you have to 
be aware of what's going on. You see how much time there is? There's a minute and change left on the binary. Question becomes, is the reaction or the behavior currently going to be responsive with the amount of time left? I'm just going to pull up the ticket. I'm not actually going to take this trade, but I want to look at something. I want to just take a close look at something. The reaction. Now, what I'm saying is going to happen now, you're going to see the price stay above 25.97. Now, it's not there yet. It's moving there. It's getting in position. By the time this binary expires, based on the behavior right now of the market, the price is likely to stay above that line. Likely. Do I know that for sure? Hell no. But the thing about what I'm pointing out now is that even though I'm saying that, you have to also be aware of the time. Now, this amount of time that's left right now, based on that time left, it's not safe to take that trade. That's why I didn't. You see what I'm saying? But I understand that the behavior in the market positioned that trade just now to stay above and it actually did not do it. So if, ooh, look at that. Look at how I was trying to get there at the end. Ooh, <laughs> ooh it did it. Whoa, did you see it? <laughs> it did it at the end in the last two seconds. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, yo, I'm trying to explain to y'all about behavior in this market, man. It ain't what you think it is at the time, I'm telling you. Understanding behavior is the key that unlocks the door for all of this to work for you. But notice, see, you, you see my discipline prevented me from taking that trade just in case. And even though I was right, I'm not, I wasn't right about predicting where the market was going. I was right about the behavior. I was correct about the behavior. The amount of time left on that binary was not sufficient enough for me to take it. So that's why I just called it instead of took the trade. I just pointed out what, based on my interpretation of the market, that the market would end up doing by the time the binary expired. And it did it in the last two seconds. That's retarded. Mark, are you always right? Hell no. I'm not always right. But listen to me. What I don't do is try to force my decision as to what I feel that the market is doing and then applying that information. I don't force that on the market. I don't force that on, on, on these trades. I sit and wait for the market to give me the low hanging fruit. And when it positions itself to do it, that's when I strike. So anyway. This is, you know, this is the type of shit you got to go through when you build the framework around the instrument that you're trading. We traded five minute binary. Look, listen to everything I just said in this video where I was talking about the time. This right here is a very insightful video. Very. I don't even know what volume this is. Volume, whatever. Volume seven, eight. I don't even know. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm gonna chill out. Relax. <laughs> I'm going to chill out and relax, try to wait for um, <clears throat> something to manifest in the market with the current framework that we use. My students know what I'm talking about, and uh, we'll just take it from there. So I'm about to log into my other account and get busy, do my work for the day. I'm pretty much done with this framework stuff for the day, so I guess I'll holler at y'all tomorrow or whenever. All right, Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. Hope you guys are enjoying this journey, man. This is a very interesting, insightful journey. I mean, this one was good. All this shit I was talking about, you know, you, you're going to have to rewind this video a few times just to let it sink in. There's chaos here, but there's order at the same time. Mark Fuller, Team Alliance.